What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Kim for Daniel, aka Big D. Oh man. <laughs> so my voice is still trying to recover. If you guys haven't seen my previous video, I did an unboxing and sort of kind of like a review on the MetaQuest Oculus Quest 2. Either or, it's still the Oculus. They just changed the name to Meta, but anyway. I did an unboxing review on this VR headset. So, if you guys want to watch that, link in the description. And when I did that video, I was really sick. Um, I'm feeling a lot better, a lot better, but my voice is still trying to recover. So, um, but anyway, what's up YouTube? This is your boy Kim for Daniel, aka Big D. Yeah, let's see, that's a little better. That's a little better. Anyway, let's get into this unboxing video. So, I have something for the Meta Quest 2. So, let's go ahead and open this sucker up. All right. And you guys see the birthday stuff going on in the background. So, it was my basically brother in law's birthday a um, couple days ago. And him and his, well, him and my nephew came down to visit us and stay for the weekend so we had a lot of fun i um really enjoyed that and um me and lee got to record a couple record a song for our band channel the dark tenacious if you guys want to check out our band as well and subscribe i'd really appreciate that it is called the dark tenacious so that would be awesome as well but yeah i had a lot of fun even though I wasn't feeling the greatest, I still had an amazing time. Alright, so this is a, what they're calling a Fit VR. Basically a Chinese version of a better headset, headband for the headset. Because this guy right here that comes stock with the headset, it is just... It's not the greatest as at all. I will be honest. My PlayStation VR is way more comfortable than this thing right here. I'm just being completely honest. The headset is amazing, but this this headband it's just got to go. Like it's it's nothing but just being held by Velcro, and you have to adjust it every time. Like a friend tries it out, or you have to keep adjusting to get it in your eyes and like it and then when you have it on it's like literally heavy it's literally front heavy like there's nothing in the back to try to keep it balanced from the back of your head so this sucker is definitely going i mean i can just show you an example so i have it adjusted where i want it but basically kind of like that you have to kind of adjust it where you want it and then up here i mean it's a pain and as it's on there's nothing supporting back here so all this weight is just like weighing down on my face so that gets a little annoying and kind of gets uncomfortable where i can't stay in it too long so that's where this comes in this is supposed to fix that it's supposed to make it feel a lot more comfortable and more balanced on my head so let's go ahead and Open it up and see what we get. But it does tell you folding and portable design, hood design, more uniform, uh, more stable wearing. Yes, so yeah, we're opening it. All right, so we get presented by. Oh, oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be a lot more. Wow, that's that's gonna be so much more comfy. We got some padding going on here. Check in here. A little, what is this, like an instruction how to do it? Yeah, instructions. And it's got pictures, so you know that's awesome. And there it is. There it is. So this is gonna be the new headband for the VR. I think this adjusts up and down. Yes, it does. That adjusts. Like, the speakers go in there. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to be so much more better. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the old strap 
and put the new one. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this so you don't break it. Um, so you can, you can kind of see, like it's kind of a little self-explanatory though. Um, if you look, right here is the speaker obviously, right? So right here is actually where the headset stops. And then this piece right here, see where it's kind of kind of like coming off? Yes, yeah, so you can see that it's hooked. It's just basically wrapped around the speaker. Don't don't pull on the speaker as you're taking it off. Just pull about right here and let it come off. And if you do it right, it should just kind of pop off like that. You know, you don't have to pull it, pry it real hard. Just get your hand right where I said and just kind of, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Um, And then take your Velcro strap right here, just kind of. Open it up. Pull out your face guard. So I might get a new face guard too for more cushion. I might get a better cushion face guard. Then you basically just slide your Velcro strap right through. And once you're done, kind of looks like that. That's basically the whole unit without the strap. <laughs> looks weird. But yeah, that's how you do that. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and wipe these lens off a little bit before I put the new one on. It's looking a little better. Um, these are actually LCD screens where the PlayStation VR is OLED screen. So, I mean, there's a difference there in, like, a better screen quality because OLED is obviously better. But, you know, this still does the job. So, we're going to go ahead and put our face guard back in and like i said if you have a new face guard you can go ahead and put your new one in there as well but it just it basically just pops right in there all right so it basically folds so this is supposed to be up like this i'm assuming hold up yeah because this is supposed to be your back kind of like the the playstation vr and the playstation vr 2 it's got that dial which is a lot better to tighten it easy to tighten too so hold up i think this goes i know this goes around somehow this goes around like that right this goes above i'm assuming it goes like that yeah i'm assuming that goes on the top of your head with the pads for what i've seen in the picture it looks like yeah and then you got that the padding so the padding right here actually clips on the back of this okay okay i'm I'm seeing how it is so you can see right there how that matches so that would just i don't know if it's this way is it that way yeah i think i think it's that way yeah it's it's that way so they're calling it the T2. Like I said, it looks weird, but it's definitely going to be a hell of a lot more comfortable. There's even padding that goes right on your head, right on the back of your head, and your forehead. Like, that's going to be so much better. Alright, so let's go ahead and... So these two right here... So the speakers on the headset actually slide right on to that you know what i mean so you slide that right on and they do go up and down so you can adjust them but make sure the whole the whole headset basically folds you can fold this thing but i'm gonna try to do this let me adjust this down So don't be afraid to get a little rough with it because it's kind, you kind of have to really push it to get it to slide. Make sure everything's aligned. Yeah, make sure you you got to really push it and then make sure the speakers are lined up where they're supposed to be, which I think it is. All right, and if it looks right, so I didn't have it right the first time. I actually had the headset upside down. 
but now I flipped it over and it, now it actually looks how it's supposed to. So this is what the head strap looks like. And it actually looks pretty wicked. It makes it look pretty cool. And it overall, it looks like it's going to be really comfortable. I can be able to play a lot longer in this. So let me uh, put this on and see how it feels. So uh, you're going to get my first reaction of how good this feels or not. But I think it's going to feel pretty good. Better than what this thing is. So should go on and you can adjust the dial so it goes to that small or you can adjust it to all size all size fit one so kind of just loosen it up until you get your head in there all right and then just tighten it up where you need it oh we oh yeah that is wow just wow um, yep, that is definitely way, that's like a 10 out of 10. That's just, now it kind of reminds me of the PlayStation VR, like how comfy it is, like, because it's so balanced from the back to the front. I don't feel like you're, I don't feel like it's top heavy anymore. I don't feel like it's front heavy. So that is totally worth it. So the T2 if you see this and i think i only paid like 20 bucks or whatever so if you see this and you want some more hours in your meta quest 2 but you can't because it's uncomfortable because of this thing throw that and just upgrade with the t2 that is awesome that is really comfortable and once you're done you just kind of loosen it up fold it up boom it's off well, guys, I'm out this thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of a review on the headset or the head strap. And I like it. Like I said, 10 on 10. That's That was that was definitely comfortable and well-balanced. Till next time, subscribe. I'm out this thing. Peace.